started working on composites in 1996 in my first research project on carbon fiber sizing. So I guess the, the biggest advancement has to be the fact that we now have composite structures flying in primary structure on aircraft. Uh, we're seeing it getting introduced into automotive uh, vehicles. Uh, a lot of light weighting sectors, they've become much more mainstream, but we still also have a lot of challenges, especially when it comes to repair, flammability, structural performance predictions, new manufacturing processes. So yeah, a lot of research to be done in this field. So as engineers, we have basically the task to come up with, together with everybody else, with better structures, a uh, better form of transport to allow us to conserve more energy and reduce noise and emissions during the, the transport. There's so much to come in a very short time frame now that simulation has become so applicable really to a lot of different fields, but also fairly easy. It is much more mainstream I find nowadays than it used to be 20 years ago, where it was really the tool of a few specialized designers. While well, nowadays a very wide range of people, not just the designers, but uh, the whole engineering group actually see the benefits. So I think what's really important is that we don't just use simulation as a tool to mimic what we see already in experiments, but that we actually use simulation to further advance our understanding of what is happening with materials on a structural scale, what is happening in terms of damage, um, how do structures fail, uh, how can we optimize structures. So there's a big progress to be made to really link process simulation, materials understanding, to structural optimization, uh, to just uh, changing performance of structures from brittle to ductile to more damage tolerant. It's not just all about composites, it's about how do we combine the composite structure in the best way with parts of aluminium, with parts of steel. Where do we place that lightweight material to get the best performance and um, best energy efficiency really at the end of the day? the visualization of the results has improved a lot. And I think that's what makes well, people open up to the whole field of numerical simulation because now you can understand and see the results. We're living in a very fast evolving um, time at this point. So what's the accepted solution today and the state of the art will be completely different tomorrow. So things are constantly evolving from one year to the next. We see new capabilities integrated and um, the challenge really for researchers like me is to figure out how we can take advantage of this and how we can actually learn all these new things.